So, so far, we've only been scratching the surface of what L systems can actually do. So next, let's talk about a branching L system and uh, how we can use the idea of branching to start creating some interesting looking shapes. So branching systems are frequently used to generate plants as well. I mean, uh, as the name would suggest there, um, this can literally be used to create like uh, geometry, like branching off from, for example, the trunk of a tree or a, uh, a stem of some sort. However, the idea is uh, pretty, pretty basic, actually, and can be applied to other applications as well. So let's take a look at branching. So uh, using a, a turtle graphics approach for interpreting an L system, branching involves uh, storing node locations at certain points in time and then recalling those uh, a bit later on as we're interpreting a set of uh, characters. So to give you an idea of what this actually looks like, let's say we, we had a command to draw forward and then well, maybe we draw. Maybe we did a draw forward once again, uh, but this time we saved the location and heading. Okay, so we saved this information, and then uh, proceeded to maybe do a uh, ro a rotation to maybe uh, maybe clockwise rotation of a certain amount, and then draw forward along there, and then maybe another rotation uh, clockwise, and then uh, continue drawing forward. At this point, we could then recall the previously saved uh, position and heading. We could actually recall this information and basically reset the location of our turtle to right here, right as it was after uh, completing uh, the, the operation that got the turtle here. All right. So, uh, so then after recalling this position and heading, we could... Well, continue forward with perhaps another move forward, and then maybe from that point on, maybe we would uh, uh, rotate to this heading and uh, draw out something like this, and uh, continue on, continue on in some way. All right, so we can see here that this uh, this idea allows us to create these branching shapes. So let's take a look at how this can be done using an L system and when what what variables and constants we have to use to do this. So in this case, uh, we have a single variable f. Let's actually just get rid of this example because we're going to be drawing something else out. All right, so, so in this example, we have uh, the single variable f and then a few additional constants here that we haven't seen before. So in addition to a, let's say, a clockwise rotation and a counterclockwise rotation, we have another character. So uh, we can use an opening square bracket to mean uh, save, save uh, location. And we can use the closing square bracket to, uh, to, to perform a different operation, which is recall uh, location. All right, so save and recall. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at our axiom, right? Just just f, so pretty straightforward, uh, as well as our single rule that we will be working with here, and that is uh, that we uh, rewrite an f as this sequence of characters. And let's just take a closer look at this to see what this actually means. So uh, if we were dealing with just this string right here this would result in the following movements for our turtle, right? So we'd, we'd start with a forward movement, then we'd rotate, and let's, you know, let's use perhaps a 45 degree uh, rotation, okay? So we're, we're kind of pointing in this direction now, and then we'll see that we save this uh, location and heading. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna represent that by just drawing a little arrow and putting a circle around it to say that we have saved this location and heading. Uh, so from there, we, uh, we continue on uh, with another forward mo uh, uh, draw forward and then rotate another 45 degrees, right? So forward, rotate, uh, then we draw forward again. 
uh, rotate counterclockwise 45 degrees. So we're, we're pointing in this direction now. And uh, draw forward one last time. All right, so that kind of gives us this nice branch heading off in this direction. And then we uh, recall the last saved location, which would bring the turtle all the way back to here, pointing in this direction. All right, uh, so, so that's, that's just one save and one recall. So with that, with that under our belt, let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a few iterations or, or a few generations of this L system and see uh, how we can get some complex behavior here uh, for our branching L system using only this one rule. All right, so uh, from generation zero to one, we rewrite that F as uh, this set of characters. I'm just going to copy this down here. All right, so that is our that is our first generation. Go to generation two now. This is going to get a bit more complicated. And so we'll rewrite our F as, again, this sequence of characters. Let's not forget to uh, put in the, the plus and the open square brackets. So plus open square brackets. And we have another F. All right, so this needs to be rewritten. Let's put that in there. All right, this is going to get fairly long fairly quickly. So let's just keep track of what we're doing here. So there is that F rewritten. We got a plus. We have another F, put that in there, uh, a minus, and our final F here, and the closing bracket, just like that. All right, um, I am going to, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see what we're doing here. We'll put that right there and draw this out again. So, so let's work with a, an angle of like a rotation angle of 45 degrees here. And let's draw out uh, the appearance of our L system at generation two. So we begin with a draw forward. There's our first draw forward. Uh, we perform our clockwise rotation here. So our heading has changed. Uh, next, we're going to save this position and heading. I'll just, again, draw a circle around that. Next, we do a draw forward. Uh, another clockwise rotation. And draw forward. Counterclockwise rotation and draw forward. So rotate and draw forward. All right, so that finishes uh, that branch off. And uh, with this closing bracket, we do return all the way back to this position and heading. So from here, we perform another clockwise rotation. So now we're kind of heading in this direction. And uh, save that heading. So I'm just going to just going to remove this old information just so we can clearly see what we're saving. All right, so uh, we, we did that, that clockwise rotation. So this is what we're saving here. Uh, draw forward, uh, clockwise, and save again. All right, so we're saving this again. So just uh, understand here we've... Uh, we, we're now saving two locations, all right? We're, we're uh, in a branch inside of a branch, essentially. So we draw forward, another uh, clockwise rotation, uh, forward, uh, counterclockwise, and forward. So counterclockwise and forward, all right? And then uh, recall the last saved position. So we do want to match up these brackets to make sure we're recalling the correct uh, position. So we are uh, just back to the, uh, the, the most recently saved position. That was right here. And from there, we continue on with another clockwise rotation. All right, so we're, I'll, I'll just remove that old information yet again. And now with 
with this rotation right here. We are pointing downwards. We can go forward again, make another rotation, and then we do a save, and so on. I'm not going to do the whole thing here. Uh, and if anything, this is a uh, just an arbitrary uh, L system example. I just I just uh, made up this rule, and I I I didn't really know what it was going to look like. So I'm just I'm just following the rules and drawing this out as we go. And uh, we can see here we're getting this interesting branching structure that's kind of uh, curling in this direction, right? So uh, eventually, I imagine this is probably going to uh, start intersecting with itself and create this an interesting spiral pattern, right? So you can see that uh, using L systems can be somewhat exploratory as well. Uh, you can uh, introduce uh, your own rules and uh, kind of kind of make th make things up as, as you go. Uh, make changes, you know, if you see a certain behavior emerging, such as uh, maybe a lot of clockwise rotations, uh, eventually getting this L system to uh, curve like this, then maybe we want to uh, go back into the rules that we've defined and start changing some of them, such as, well, maybe replacing, uh, replacing this with a, a counterclockwise rotation. I, I'm now, I'm not really sure what that's going to do, but we'd have to test it out, right? So that is where working with L systems can become a bit of an art and uh, actually kind of fun. So this is an example of a branching L system using this bracket notation to uh, tell us when to begin and when to end a new branch.